Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Fine. Hello, Ivan. Hello, Jaime, Francisco, Samuel, Giovanni, Damaris, and Maria Dolores. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. It's nice to see you tonight. Right? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How was your day today? How was your Friday? Very nice, teacher. Very nice. Okay, that's great. Okay, Excellent. finally. Finally, it's Friday, right? Are you going to rest tomorrow? Van a descansar mañana? Or are you going to work? I am work, I'm teacher. work teacher. I uh, am work. You are going to work. I'm sorry to hear that. Where? I work too. Okay, we have to do our best, right? In our work. I'm going to rest. Oh, you are going to rest. That's excellent, Francisco. Very good. So yesterday we were talking about the simple past and WH word question or information question, right? So tonight we are going to start the class taking a look of the exercises on the platform. Do you have any question about those exercises? No questions? No question. Okay. We are going to start the class reviewing the exercises of the section number four. Vamos a hacer un repaso del módulo número cuatro, ¿verdad? Es decir, vamos a revisar los ejercicios que nos hacían falta de esta sección, de la sección número cuatro. So let's start the class with this part. And then today we are going to start the last section of this course, which is the simple past with the verb to be. El día de hoy vamos a ver ese tema también, pero el pasado simple con el verbo to be. So let's go with this. Let's go to the platform. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have already solved this 4.4, right? So let's take a look at this 4.9. Complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verse in the past tense. Now look at this. What is the right answer in this part? Enjoy. Did you enjoy your summer? Enjoy. 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 Uh, this one? Enjoy. Enjoy. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, I did. I had. I had. I had. I had. And the other one? When? I went to the beach a lot. A lot. Okay, let's see if you're right. Uh, yes, you are. Right? Yes. Did you enjoy your summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Very good job. Thank you so much. So, who wants to help me in this part? Who wants to try it? I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation. Okay, thank you, Francisco Antonio. Francisco Antonio, and any other volunteer to practice in this part? Okay, thank you, Hugo Giovanni. Francisco, can you please start this small conversation? Hey, teacher. Did you enjoy your summer? Yes, I did. I did have a great summer. Hugo, I went. I went to the beach a lot. I went to the beach a lot. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see the other exercise in this part. Is this one? Okay. Uh, sorry. Yo me quedé en la última ya, donde hay cuatro preguntas. Ahí no la supe responder. ¿Y en la última sección? No, ahí está, no sorry, te acaban en esta. ¿En esta parte? En esa parte, cabrón. Ok, we're going to see the answers right now. So, I'm scrambling the question by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to tie the question mark. Ok, ordenelas. 
preguntas ordenando la, en el orden correcto las palabras. Recuerde escribir, ¿verdad? O digitar el signo de pregunta. Type es digitar el signo de pregunta de question mark. Example, have you did summer good? Aquí tenemos estas palabras. Have you did summer a good? Ordenada nos queda. Did you have a good summer? Tuviste un buen verano. Now I have the word watch television. Did you last night? ¿Cómo nos queda esa pregunta? It's a question. Did you watch television last night? Ok. Did you watch television last night? In this way. Me say, did you watch television last night? And the question mark. And the second one. I have a half dinner you did last night. You have dinner last night? You had dinner last night? Mm. Did you have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? Okay, did you have dinner last night? Cenaste esa noche? And then this, I go to work yesterday. You did in the question mark. In this other one. Did you go to work did yesterday? Did you go to work, go to work yesterday. yesterday? Okay, did you go to work yesterday? Okay, in the last one, I have go to the movies they did on Wednesday. If they go to the, mo the movies on Wednesday. Okay, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Let's see if you're right. Yes, yes, you are right. So those were the answers in this part. Esas son las respuestas en este ejercicio. Any question about this? Teacher, Hola. fíjese que yo lo puse así y me salen malas todas. Y así están. En la última sí está diferente, ¿verdad? Pero de ahí todas están así escritas hasta con el signo y no me las agarra. Me salen malas. A mí igual, teacher. A mí igual lo mismo me pasa. Ok, all of them. Yeah. Teacher, en mi caso, oh. yo lo había ordenado así, después la volví a, a cambiar, hice de todas las movidas, de todos modos. El problema que yo tenía era que no le ponía el signo de interrogación y ahí hasta que lo revisé y le puse el signo, me salió bien. Oh, okay. El paso debe ser entre palabra y palabra, tal vez. Teacher. Probablemente sea un espacio, but let's do something. I'm going to write here the answer. Just copy and paste in the space. And let's see if it is work. Uh, probably it is an extra space. There is an extra space that you o are también, typing. O también, teacher, suele suceder que, que la oración no se inicia con mayúscula y eso puede dar problemas. Okay, the capital letter, yes. Remember that in English, uh, all the sentences start with capital letter and end with a period, right? Or a question mark if it is a question. So it is important right, to type the capital letter. La letra sure, mayor. Continue. continue, please, Maria. Tell me. Your microphone, Maria. Turn off your microphone. Uh, can you please turn off your microphone, Maria? Ah, no ah. sé si me escucha. ¿Se me escucha? Ahora sí le escuchamos. We can listen to you now. Perdón, les decía de que a veces me ha hablado en el teléfono. Este el corrector del, del teléfono me ha cambiado las palabras y no me he dado cuenta. Cuando le doy a enviar, me sale mal. Al revisar, ha sido eso, que me ha cambiado la palabra que es. Ah, ok. Eso puede afectar tu respuesta también. 
Ok, let me know please if it is work. Intentaron copiando y pegando. A mí también me salen malas. Ok. Eh, la primera, la tercera y la cuarta. La, la segunda me sale bien. Y okay. la puesto todo con la cuestión. Man. Ok, do you have the it with capital letter? Eh, you watch television. And then we have last night. And then the question mark. Sí, tiene esa. Okay, can you send me please uh, an screenshot? Send me a screenshot and I'm going to see what is happening in this part. Pueden enviarme una captura de pantalla. Ahorita. Al grupo lo enviar. Okay, no problem. Teacher. Yes. Fíjese que, bueno, yo no le he puesto con mayúsculas, div, eh, así como aparece escrito en, en, en las palabras desordenadas, así lo he escrito yo y me lo dio correcto. ¿Y lo aceptó correcto? Ah, ok. Sí, lo aceptó, lo aceptó, no sé, algo, hay que revisar qué es lo que está pasando. Ok, let me see. I'm going to take a look of this. Okay, okay, here is the problem. So last, you have last with capital letter and it is with this one. You have this Ay, word. Musculas. Van a intercalar. Aha, uh -huh. that is the problem. You have capital letter between the, the words, between the sentence. So here, last no lleva este capital letter. And watch also. I guess that watch has a capital letter too. Teacher, también creo que después de television, antes de last, hay como doble espacio. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, you will try to fix it. Try to correct the sentence. Okay. Did you watch television? Yes. Did you watch television last, last night? Yes. Last night. And I was thinking, También, eh, Hugo, en la última. Donde dice, did they go to the, moviendo, algo así, quizás el corrector de cromo, como le comenta ah, sí. yo creo que ahí ha sido un problema. Ahí y está. también cuando sale en mayúsculas, cuando las palabras, entonces ahí también. Sí, sí, ya vi que me puso moviendo, pero igual, eh, moving. Oh. They moving, la has puesto Hugo, they, la has puesto they también, oh. y they go. Today moving, si lo has escrito mal ahí. Revisar luego la última. Está revisando. Ok. Did they, uh, did they have, ¿verdad? Did they go to the movie? Did they go to the movie? Did they go to the movie? Ok, Hugo. Uh, let's continue trying. If you have a, a problem, write to my WhatsApp, please. And I'm going to help you. Okay. 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 Let's go with the next exercise. Let's see if we have another one. No, that is the last one, right? This is the last exercise in this section. So those are the exercises. So let's start with tonight class. De acuerdo. No hay más preguntas, más dudas en esta parte. No. No question, teacher. No question. Okay. Well, I'm going to help you on the WhatsApp group if you have. Uh, if you still have the problem, si todavía tiene el problema. So let's start. Okay, good. So let's start with tonight class, right? Tonight we are going to start this topic. It is the simple past tense with the verb to be. In Spanish, the verb to be has three forms. Uh, sorry, um, 
In Spanish, it has two meanings. ¿Cuáles son los dos significados del verbo to be? Eh, estar. Cero estar. Cero estar. In the present, it has three forms in present, which are the three forms in present of the verb to be. Am, are, and is. Okay, excellent. We have am, are, and are. also is. In simple past tense, the verb to be just has two forms. Solo tiene dos formas. And they are was, and the other one is where. So how we are going to use the verb to be in simple past? We are going to learn that tonight. Let's see this part. Okay, the verb being simple past tense has to form, as I said before, was and where. So how we are going to use was and where? Here you can see the affirmative form of the simple past with the verb to be. So I'm going to say, I was, he was, she was, it was. And we are going to use where with we, you, and they. We were, you were, and they were. Let's take a look at this example. I was happy yesterday. It means yo estuve feliz ayer. He was hungry last night. Él estaba hambriento anoche. Uh, she was a nurse. Ella fue una enfermera. It was a big dog. Fue un perro grande. We were early. Nosotros estuvimos temprano. You were at the school. Ustedes o tú estuviste en la escuela. They were quiet. Ellos estuvieron tranquilos o callados. Eh, uh, so we use was with I, he, she, and it. Where, we, you, and they. Then in the negative form, we are going to add not. Vamos a agregar la partícula not a la oración después del verbo to be. I wasn't sad. Yo no estuve triste. Eh, wasn't es la contracción de was not. Aquí abajo está el cuadrito donde pueden ver la contracción. Wasn't es igual a was not. And weren't es igual a were not. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. We weren't early. You weren't at the school. They weren't quiet. So, do you have any question in this part? No question? Okay. I'm My happy question that... is clear. Okay, thank you so much. I am happy that this topic is clear for you now and until this moment. So, can you help me please reading the affirmative sentences? Any volunteer to read I, he, she, and it? Thank you, Francisco Antonio. Um, affirmative sentences. Yes, please. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. Thank you so much. Ivan, can you help me with the next three sentences, please? Okay. We were early. You were at the school. They were quiet. Thank you so much. Hugo, uh, Maria Dolores, excuse me. Can you please? Read I, he, and she in negative sentences. Neg uh, negative. Yes, please. I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. He's, she wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. No, it wasn't a big dog. When okay. adolescents. Yes, thank you so much, Hugo. Okay. Very good job. Maria Dolores, can you help me with the next okay. three, please? We weren't hurry. You weren't at the school. They weren't quiet. Thank you so much. Damaris, do you want to help me? Which one do you want to read? Yes, teacher. Okay. Which one do you want to, to read? Help me with the okay. affirmative form. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. 
It was a big dog. Thank you so much. Big dog. Thank you. Let's continue with this. And let's see. Question with the verb be in simple past tense. Ya vimos las oraciones afirmativas y las oraciones negativas. Now, how to make question? That is kind of easy. To create question with the verb to be, you put the verb before the subject. Vamos a escribir el verbo al inicio de la pregunta, antes del verbo. Eh, look at this example. You were happy. Esa es una oración afirmativa. I have subject, the verb to be, and an adjective in this case. Now the question, were you happy? Ahora en la pregunta, el verbo to be va al inicio de la oración, at the beginning of the sentence. Then I have the subject and the complement, happy and the question mark. Were you happy yesterday? ¿Cuál es una buena respuesta? Were you happy yesterday? ¿Estuvo feliz ayer? Did you say, yes, I was. Yes, I no, was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was happy. Okay, yes, I was happy. Oh, yes, I was. Let's continue learning about this part. So take a look at this question example. Number one, I was late. That is an affirmative sentence. I was late. The question is, was I late? Llegué tarde. Then you were sick. Were you sick yesterday? Estuvo usted enfermo ayer? He was surprised in the affirmative sentence. Was he surprised? She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? It was a big house. Was it a big house? We were ready. Were we ready? You were early. Were you early? They were busy. Were they busy? So affirmative sentences and question. How to answer this question? Vamos a ver cómo responder estas preguntas. Let's go with this. Okay, short answer. Let's take a look at this chart. Was I late? Es como una pregunta reflexiva. Llegué tarde. Llegué yo tarde. Y otra persona le va a responder. Yes, you were. Si sí, usted está tarde, llegó tarde. O no, you weren't. You are on time. No, you weren't. Usted está a tiempo. Were you sick? Estuvo usted enfermo? Then we answer, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was he surprised? Estaba él sorprendido? Tercera persona, then you say, yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Was she from Italy? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Was it a big house? Era esa una casa grande? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were we ready? Estábamos listos? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were you early? Yes, we were. Or no, we weren't. Were they busy? Yes, they were. Or no, they weren't. Those are the possible answers for this yes, no question in simple past with the verb to be. Do you have any question about this part? No question? Okay, that's great. No question tonight. Very good. Let's, uh, let's see this conversation. I was born in Korea. What is the meaning of this? I was born in Korea. Nací en Corea. Yo nací en Corea. Okay, thank you. Yo nací en Corea. Look at this question. Where were you born, Melissa? Where were you born? What is the meaning of where? Donde. Okay. Donde naciste, Melissa? Donde naciste? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Oh, así que tú no naciste en los Estados Unidos. Dice, no, I came here in 1999. Mm, 
You were pretty young. You were pretty young is an example with the verb to be in simple past. Tú eras muy joven. Yes, I was only 17. Another sentence with the verb to be, I was. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. Another example, in my English wasn't very good. A negative sentences. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Bueno, tu inglés es muy bueno ahora, o realmente bueno. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Gracias, tu inglés es muy bueno también. Yeah, but I was born here. Sí, pero yo nací aquí, in the United States. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Palabras Bor nuevas? Bor I was born in I Korea. Was, okay, I was born in Korea. Esa es una expresión para decir yo nací. I was born in El Salvador. Yo nací en El Salvador. I was born in Spain. Yo nací en España. I was born in the United States. So, yo nací. Teacher, yes. eh, una, una pregunta. En ese caso, eh, el where y el was nos ayudan a, a, a como hacer como nací, ¿verdad? Como nosotros estamos hablando en pasado. Porque uh -huh. born sería nacer. O nacer, ok. Y ya cuando le agregamos el where you born. This is an expression. Right? Así? Yes, it is. Right? It's an expression. Where were you born? ¿Dónde naciste? So it's an expression to ask this question. ¿Dónde naciste tú? Where were you born? Let's see, for example, where were you born in El Salvador? ¿Dónde en El Salvador nació usted? Then you say, I was born in San Miguel. I was born in Sonsonate. So where were you born in El Salvador? Es, es como, perdón. Es como, where are you from? Algo así, ¿verdad? Ok, Solo más o menos. Como que naciste. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿En qué parte de El Salvador nació usted? Sería, where were you born in El Salvador? Uh -huh. I was born in, y usted dice, la ciudad donde nació. Any other question? No, question? No question. Ok. Let's sure, see. Yo solo una, una duda. Uh -huh. eh, en el donde dice, did you, did you go to the college right away? ¿Qué significa ese right away? Ah, oh, did you go to college right away? Es como inmediatamente. En ese momento. Fuiste a la universidad de una vez y él, no, my English wasn't very good. Y porque su inglés no era muy bueno, ella no pudo ir de una vez a la universidad. Entonces, right away es como, did you go to college right away? Fuiste a la universidad inmediatamente. Mm, Tan pronto como llegaste, fuiste a la universidad. Then you say, no, my English wasn't very good. Okay, thank you. Any other question in this part? Then let's please and end the conversation. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Volunteer to practice in this conversation. Chuck and Melissa, who wants to be Chuck? Thank you, Francisco Antonio. Thank you, Hugo. You are going to read the Melissa's part in this conversation. Let's start, Francisco and Hugo. Okay. 
Uh, where were you born, Francisco? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the U.S.? No. I came here in 1999. Mm, you were very you... Yes, I was only 17. Uh, did you go to college right I wait? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yes, I thought I was born here. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation, guys. Very good job. Thank you so much. So I have Jose Alberto and Maria Dolores. Do you want to participate? Okay. I could see your hand up. Yes. Okay, Jose Alberto, Maria Dolores, do you want to practice? Hello, Maria. Yes. I couldn't listen to you, Marie. Can you? Okay, Jose Alberto, you are going to read Chuck's part. And Maria Dolores, you are going to read Melissa's part. Let's practice then. Okay. Where were you were, Melissa? As well, I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were you were pretty young? Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Excellent job, thank you so much. Wow, very good pronunciation, thank you. You did a great job in this part. Just this word, how do you pronounce this word, guys? First. 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 Como que, first. Ese es como first. Prim, primera Primero. vez, first. Primero. Primero por dos años. Primero por dos años. Dice que aprendió en inglés antes de entrar al colegio. Ok. Yes. First. So I took English classes for two years first. Primero yo tomé dos años de inglés. De clases de inglés. First. Thank you. Teacher, y tú, tú, I took. ¿Qué significa esa palabra exactamente? Well, I took English classes. It means... Es el verbo take en pasado. Es un verbo irregular. Así es, un verbo irregular. Take. Took es el verbo. Tomé. Ah, ok. Gracias. Yo tomé. Yo tomé clases de inglés. Thank you. Ah. Ok, now let's see this example. Let's practice then. Any volunteer to read this example? But let's listen first. Vamos a escuchar primero, ¿ok? José Alberto. Oh. Let's oh, listen first. La mano ah, oh, ok, ok. Sorry. Yes. No problem, don't worry. Eh, let's see, let's listen these examples. Eh, affirmative sentences and negative sentences with the verb to be in simple past. So let's listen the examples. Statements with the past of be. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Okay, Hugo, do you want to try? Affirmative sentences, please. All of them. 
Eh, I was born in Korea. Les digo todo hasta abajo. Sí, yes, ¿verdad? please. Okay. I was born in Korea. You, you were pretty, you joy. Uh, she was in 17, 17. When were, were in the Korea? Uh, pero, no. <laughs> Sorry, we were, uh, we, we were were in the some years. They were in the Korea uh, in the uh, 99, eight. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good job. Now, can you help me to pronounce this adjective? You were pretty. Young. 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 You were pretty young. young. Tú eras muy joven o bastante joven. You were pretty young. Yeah. What about this other one? In the same. Same. In the same year. And can you help me to pronounce this number, please? They were in Korea in 1998. 1998. 1998. 1998. Thank you so much. Now I need a volunteer to read this. Oh, I have Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. Can you help okay. me, please? I wasn't born in the U. Is in the US, uh, you weren't very old. She was in um, college. Uh, we weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the US in 1998. Okay, 19, 1998 in this part. Uh, same, the same country. Same. Same okay. country. The same country. Uh, can you help me to pronounce this? Same country. Wasn't. 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 Born in the US, you weren't very old. She was in college. She, we weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the in the US in 1998. Thank you so much. Almost perfect, yo. Very good pronunciation, Damaris. Thank you so much. This Thank sentence. you, teacher. You're welcome. She wasn't in college. She wasn't in college. She wasn't in college. Okay. Thank you. She... Okay. Don't forget about was and is the contraction of was not and where and is the contraction of where or not. Uh, Statements with. Let's try to solve this exercise. Can you help me, please, solving these exercises? Exercise A, uh, do I need was or where to complete this sentence? I was, was 18 I was last year. 18 last year. Okay, I was 18 last year. Uh, exercise B. Marta and Sarah were painful, yeah. painful yesterday. Thank you. Marta and Sarah were painful yesterday. Exercise C. Was. Was. Marco was healthy last month. Okay. Marco was healthy last month. Uh, exercise healthy. D. Healthy. healthy. Exercise D. Es healthy. Es healthy. Saludable. Saludable. Exercise D. She was sick last week. She was sick last week. Excellent. Exercise E. We were. We were. We were. We were. We were, we were at, at the, college. the co college. Okay. College. We weren't at that. We were at that college. 
in letter F. Exercise F. You were. You, you were, were my friend. My friend. You were, you were my friend. Tú fuiste, ¿verdad? O tú eras mi amigo. Ya no más. You were my friend. Okay, excellent. I was 18 last year. Marta and Sarah were painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. She was sick last week. We were at that college. You were my friend. Any volunteer to practice reading these sentences? Who wants to try them? Thank you, Jose Alberto. A, B, and C, Jose, and Hugo, D, E, and F, please. Let's okay, start. I was, a, I was 18 last year. Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Marcos was healthy last month. Excellent. She was sick last week. Uh, we, we were at that college. You were my friend. Perfect job. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Let's go with the next exercise. Let's complete this. Michael Jackson, a very popular artist. Was. Yeah. Él nació en 1958. He was born in 1958. 1958. 1958. Yes. Uh, okay. Last Saturday, Carlos and Mirma were not at home. They were, they were, were in the country. Were in the country. Okay. Number three. Was. Okay. I was worried because they were lost. There. <clears throat> okay. Weren't Valentin and when, Isabel at the party? No, estuvi, no estuvo Valentina e Isabel en la fiesta. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Were. Were. No, were. were. For most people, Pelé, one of the best soccer players in the world. What? 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 Number six. What were, what were your favorite were subject your favorite in high What were your favorite subject in high school? Oh, are you sure that is where? Yes. What? We are talking about what? just what? one subject. If. If. Yes, about it. What? What? Sorry, it's what was. Okay, what What's was your what? favorite subject in high school? It was. It was math. Math. The okay. subject is math. Okay, and with your own information, what was your favorite subject in high school? ¿Cuál fue tu materia favorita? En bachillerato. En bachillerato, en high school. Y se fue en matemáticas. Ok, it was math. Any other answer? What was your favorite subject in high school? Se refiere a materia, entonces. Subject, yes. En este caso es una materia escolar. What was your favorite subject? Then we have science. It was math. math. It was math. It was math. La matemática les gustaba. Okay, pretty good. Thank you. Now let's practice in this small conversation. Look at this. How was the movie? How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. 
What is this conversation about? ¿De qué están hablando estas personas? ¿Qué, qué película? Le, ¿Cómo yo, estuvo la sí. película? Ah, ¿cómo estuvo la película? Excellent. Yes. How was estuvo. the movie? ¿Cómo estuvo la película? Uh, si, era, si era de miedo. Ok. Es, ¿Dio miedo esa película? ¿Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. It's nice. Was it crowded? Was it crowded? Estaba lleno. Estaba lleno. Estaba lleno. Estaba... No, it wasn't. No, no, estaba. no había yes. muchas personas no ahí, muchas sorprendentemente. People. Ok, sorprendentemente. Excellent job. Thank you. How was the movie? I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Volunteers, yes, to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Can you help me? Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Hugo. Francisco, can you please start? How was the movie? It's really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, no, it was it wasn't there weren't many people there. Surprise. Surprisingly, surprisingly. Surprisingly. Ah, uh, surprisingly. Okay, surprisingly. Thank you. Okay, Damaris. I have Damaris. Any other volunteer to practice with Damaris tonight? Thank you, Yamilet. Damaris and Yamilet. Let's start, please, Damaris. Okay. Who was the movie? It was really good. What is scare? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. What is crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there surprised me. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Francisco Antonio, right? Damaris and Yamilet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Conversation number two. Where were you last night? Look at this. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. Were you? Really? I was there. Okay, what is happening in this conversation? Look at the man. He's angry and say, where were you last night? And the woman answered. Donde estuviste anoche? Ah, okay. Donde estuviste anoche? And she answered, I was at work. Estuve trabajando. Estuve trabajando. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. Estuve en tu tienda. You weren't there. Tú no estabas allí. Tú no, no estuviste. No estabas ahí. No estuviste. And she said, no, I was in the back working. Where are you? Pues de regreso trabajando. Oh, no, in the back is en la parte de atrás de la tienda trabajando. I was in the back working. Where are you? De ver, es como de verdad. ¿Dónde? Trabajando? De verdad. Really? Really? Yeah, I was there. Yo estuve. Yo estuve. En serio. Ajá. En serio, yo estaba ahí. Ahí estuve. Ok. ¿Le creemos o no le creemos? <risa> ya, no, no. ya valió. No mucho. No mucho. No mucho ese. Ok. So, where were you last night? ¿Dónde estuviste? ¿Dónde estuviste esa noche? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. Were you? Really? I was there. To volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Jonathan, thank you, Jonathan. And Giovanni, okay. Can you please start, Jonathan? 
Where were you last night? It was at work. Really? What was your shop you're wearing there? No, I was in there in the bat working. Were you? Really, I was there. There, okay, there. excellent. There. I was there. Then I had Maria Dolores. Any other volunteer to practice with Maria Dolores? Who wants to help me practicing? Thank you, Francisco Antonio. Okay, I am star. Uh, Francisco, can you please start? Francisco, read the man part in Maria Dolores, the woman part. Okay, teacher. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You were in there. No, I was in the back working. Were you? Really, I was there. Okay, very good job. Thank you. Ya se había enojado, María Dolores. ¿Por qué me preguntas? <laughs> Yo estaba ahí. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, let's see this, this other conversation. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. What are they talking about? Acerca de un examen de 20 preguntas. Okay, acerca de una evaluación de un examen. ¿Cómo estuvo el examen? How was the test? Really hard. It was, it was really, really hard. hard. Oh. How long difícil. was it? Difícil esto. Así es, estuvo realmente difícil. It was really hard. How long was it? ¿Y ¿Cuánto duró? ¿Qué tan largo era? How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Tenía 20 Match problems. Problemas. Okay. Yeah. What was your score? ¿Cuál fue el ¿Cuánto resultado? Tu ¿Cuál puntuación? fue tu resultado? ¿Cuál fue tu puntuación? And the woman said, let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Digamos, solo digamos que no estuvo mal, pero tampoco... Uh, it wasn't great. No, no estuvo, estuvo grandioso, bien, pero tampoco, pero tampoco estuvo... estuvo tan mal, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto creen que se sacó? Seis. Ok. Un, un seis, like, por ahí. Six, six, six point five. Tirándole al siete. So, so. <risa> so, so. No fue grandioso, pero tampoco mm. fue tan malo. Okay. Un cinco. ¿Cómo, de, cómo <risa> entendemos bad, bad hater? Esa última palabra. Oh, but it wasn't bad either. Eh, no fue grandioso, pero tampoco fue malo. Tampoco, either. Either, tampoco, ¿verdad? But it wasn't bad either. Conversation number four. Uh, do you know who was at the party? Okay, Jason was there. So was Sue. Uh, were Tony and Katie there? No, they weren't there. But their son was. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. Okay, this is a person that didn't go to the party. Una persona que no fue a la fiesta. Y está averiguando cómo estuvo la fiesta. Do you know who was at the party? ¿Sabes quién, quién, sabes estuvo, quién, en la fiesta? quién estuvo en la fiesta? Jason was there. Jason estuvo ahí. So was Sue. También, También Sue. Sue. Were Tony and Katie there? Tony y Katy estuvieron, estuvieron ahí. Okay. Estuvo Tony y Katy ahí. Katy ahí. Muy bien. Estuvo Tony y Katy ahí. No, they weren't there. No, ellos no. No, no estuvieron. Pero sí, sus hijos. Muy bien. But their son was. 
Oh, I see. So, was it fun? Was Estuvo it divertido. Fun? Estuvo divertido. Yeah, it was a fun evening. Fue una noche divertida. Muy bien. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go with the next exercise in this part. I have here some question and I have some answer. Can you help me please matching the question with the answer, please? In the question I had, were you at home yesterday? Was Ryan in class yesterday? Was the concert good? Was the movie interesting? Was Susan at the library yesterday? And in the answer I have, no, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Yes, she was. We were about there. Uh, yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. No, I wasn't. I was at a concert. No, he wasn't. He was sick. Can you help me to match the equation with the right answer, please? Let's see number one, for example. What is the right answer? Oh, I wasn't. I was at concert. Were you at home right. yesterday? Then you say, no, I wasn't. I was at a concert. So you say 1D. 1D. The second one, was Ryan in class yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was sick. Okay. E. Okay, letter E. 2E. Two 2E. E. Two e. Was the concert good? No, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Excellent. 3A. No, no estuvo tan bueno. Uh -huh. La música estuvo bastante mal. Uh, number four. Was the movie interesting? Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. Thank you so much. And was Susan at the library yesterday? She was, we were but there. Yeah. Okay, very good. So here are the answers. 1D, 2E, 3A, 4C, and 5B. Is that correct? That is Season? correct. Okay, thank you. Then yes, need, sir. Yes, sir. I yes. need to volunteer to practice asking the question and answering them. Who wants to try? Samuel, thank you. You are going to read the question. Francisco Antonio, you are going to read the answer. Let's start, please. Okay. Were you at home yesterday? No, I wasn't. I was at a concert. Um, was Ryan in class yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was sick. Uh, was the concert good? No, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. And was the movie interesting? Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. Was Susan had delivery yesterday? Yes, she was. We were both there. Excellent. Thank you so much. So, yes, no question. Right? Yes, no question. Thank you. Very good job. Ah, I have Hugo. Hugo, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Do you want uh, to practice? Participate. Okay, do you want to practice with this part? Excellent. I need one volunteer to practice with Hugo Giovanni. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you so much. So can you please read the question, Hugo, and Ivan, the answer? Okay. Were you at home yesterday? No, I wasn't. I was at concert. What array in the class yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was sick. What's the concert, concert good? No, he wasn't. The music was pretty bad. What's the movie inter interesting? 
Yes, it was. My demo is a great actor. Was Susan at the library yesterday? Yes, she was. We were both there. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Just to practice, how do you pronounce the word? Interesting. Okay. Interesting. 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 Thank you. Interesting. How do you pronounce this other word? Library. 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 Thank you so much. Okay. Were you angry yesterday? Any volunteer to answer this question? This is the last, the last activity for tonight. Were you angry yesterday? Te enojaste ayer. Porque estabas enojado ayer. Ah, uh, it's a yes no, no question. Es, es, Were you angry enojado yesterday? ayer? Yes. Estuvo Ay. usted enojado ayer? No, no I wasn't. Well, I was ¿Sí? happy. Ah, okay. Excellent, Francisco. Excellent answer. You say. No, I wasn't. I was happy. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Were you angry yesterday? Who say yes? I was angry. No, nadie Una se enojó pregunta, ayer. I wasn't. I was uh, sick. Okay, Samuel. Very good answer too. Tell teacher, me, Iván. Este, literalmente se puede expresar una traducción en inglés, o sea, no puede tener otra voz, como, o sea, estuviste enojado ayer, pero lo podemos este, decir de otra forma, enojaste ayer, o no tan literal, se podría, mm. o, o no, o así como se escribe. Ok, en eh, in inglés, cuando estamos traduciendo, tenemos que hacer una adaptación, ¿verdad? No es una traducción literal, eh, porque en español este, no nos expresamos así tan mecánico. ¿verdad? Were you angry yesterday? ¿Estuviste enojado ayer? Podría ser una traducción. O la otra es, ¿estuviste tú enojado ayer? O te enojaste ayer. O te enojaste ayer, muy bien. Ajá, tiene varias formas de, de cómo... Así es, tenemos que no adaptar. No tan literal. No tan literal. Es, es más una adaptación okay. a nuestro idioma que una traducción literal. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Entonces, sí okay. podemos. Gracias. Lo importante es que lo entendamos. Were you angry yesterday? Ah, ya sabemos. Ah, estuviste enojado ayer. Estuviste tú enojado ayer. Te enojaste ayer. Entonces, tienen, podemos traducirlo de diferentes maneras. And we are going to understand in Spanish, right? Tenemos que buscarle el mejor sentido en español, digamos, a lo que traducimos. Next question. Were you in a hurry this morning? ¿Le agarró la tarde y estuvo apurado esta mañana? No. Yes. I was. Okay. Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Let's see the other one. Were you very busy yesterday? Were you very yes, busy? Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Okay, nice. Were you a quiet child? Were usted un niño tranquilo? No, oh. I wasn't. No, 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 I wasn't. Okay. ¿Fue usted una niña tranquila? Were you a quiet child? A ver, Damaris. Were you a quiet child? Le hablan child? compañeras, le hablan. ¿Fueron unas niñas tranquilas? Yes, I was. O no, I wasn't. Yes, I was, teacher. Ah, ok, excelente. Yes, I was. Bueno. O eran de las niñas que seguía la mamá con la chancla, con el chilillo. Were you a good student? Ah, te ya le doy this question. Were you a good student? Yes, yes I, I was. was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. <laughs> ok, o oh, fueron de los estudiantes que todavía tiene pesadillas el pobre teacher. <laughs> Ay, es que se iban. Ay, es que se han mareado Were you a good student? 
Dice, yes, I was. No, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Ah, yes, I was. Okay. <clears throat> bueno. Ok, we're going to stop the class here. Eh, thank you so much for your help eh, in this class. Thank you for your participation. Thank you so much. Bueno, hay algunos que aún no les conozco la voz, ¿verdad? So, participate, right? Let's practice. We are learning. And you have to practice. Eh, the most you practice, the better that you are going to be in English. Entre más practique, eh, mejor va a ser en el idioma, ¿verdad? So, don't be shy, right? Don't be afraid of participation. Try to practice <clears throat> this language, right? Remember that it is a new language. And if we don't practice it, we will never, right? Eh, Podemos resolver los ejercicios. Excelente. Podemos traducir. Muy bien. Podemos leer. Excellent. Pero ¿cuál es el objetivo? Speak. Speak in English. Speak is the goal. <clears throat> ok. Then ya solo nos queda una semana. ¿no? With just one week to finish this English course. So speak in French. Uh, admiro a Francisco Antonio, a uh, Hugo, ¿verdad? Iván, Jaime, Samuel, Thank you. Damaris, siempre están participando. María Dolores también. Thank you so much. Y los demás han participado, pero en un poquito, ¿verdad? Entonces, practiquemos más, right? Que cuando diga, who wants to participate? ¿Quién quiere participar? Que se me llene la pantalla de todas las manitas arriba. I want, I want, teacher, I want, I want to participate. Ok, because we need to practice, we need to practice a lot. Ok, so thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Eh, see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Rest a lot. Eh, spend time with your family. Listen to music. Watch a movie. Relax, right? Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. Thank you, so okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good See you Monday. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.